Hey there Juma fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Juma fan too. You may know me from the Basic Juma Tutorials YouTube channel, which this video is hosted on, or you might recognize my voice as co-host of the Joomcast podcast that I co-host with Chait Madan of JoomDev. In this video, I want to update my review of MySites.Guru. This is a website that I have used for years. It used to be called myjuma.com, uh, but it has changed so much in the last couple of years with so many extra features. I thought that I would update re my review video. And uh, in the process, I'm going to show you how you can get a your first month free with a subscription to mysites.guru, but you can also get a free audit for your Joomla site and check it out for uh, viruses or malware and just to see if anything is there. So let's turn our attention to the screen now and we will check that out. As I said, I've been using mysites.guru for a couple of years now. I have learned a lot about maintaining Joomla sites and I've actually used this as a source for many of my Maintenance Monday videos on my channel. Uh, it also is a huge time saver for me, not only managing a Joomla site, but I actually manage multiple Joomla sites with it. I think I'm up to around 50 sites that I'm managing right now for myself and for clients. So in order to get your uh, free trial and your free audit, you're going to go to mysites.guru and of course, click on the button for free trial. On this next screen, you're going to uh, put in all your information. I'll do it quick because you don't want to watch me type. And like magic, it is filled in and we will click register. Now that we've registered the account, it's time to add our first site. We will click add your first site and we're going to pick Joomla because you can also manage WordPress sites with mysites.guru. We'll click Joomla and we're going to read this information. I won't read it to you right now, but you can when you get your free trial. Now we'll click on next. Here we're going to get a URL for a plugin that we're going to install on our Joomla site. It's super easy. And we'll just click there to copy. And this is how mysites.guru is going to access your site to check it out. Now it is waiting to hear from that plugin once it's installed. So let's install it right now. Here we are at the admin screen for my Joomla site. Now I'm using the username admin for a purpose. You'll see that later on. We'll click login. Now you'll see I also have two extensions that need updating. I've done that on purpose and you'll see why in a second. But we're going to go to extensions, manage and install. We're going to go install from URL and we'll paste the URL that we just copied from the mysites.guru site. And we'll click check and install. The ding of that bell lets us know that the plugin is installed and is already communicated with the mysites.guru site. So let's go back to the tab that has mysites.guru and we'll see all the things that we can check out. Now, right away, you'll have a snapshot of your site available, but an audit will be started right away. And that can take a little while to complete because uh, depending on the size of your Joomla site and also on the speed of your server, not the MySite server, but your server. Uh, the audit looks at every single file. It's not just doing a scan, it's doing an audit of each file. And as you'll see, I've paused the video, the audit is already complete, and look, it says the site is hacked. Now, like I told you before, I added a hacked file so we could see that feature come up. Let's look at some of the things that we have here, some of my favorite features. There's so many things here we could, uh, this video would be hours long if I covered them all. Uh, all right, snapshot. Here we see a number of things that are good about the Joomla install, but some issues that could be taken care of. Now keep in mind, this is a very plain and basic Joomla install. Uh, I run this on all my new Joomla installs. Let's use this uh, green eyeball button up here or icon. We'll click on that and hide all that's good. And we'll see a number of things that we can check out. There's some uh, videos that you can watch. There's also learn more to learn more of information about each of these items. So for instance, one down here is super admin should not have the username admin. Now I use the username admin on purpose because I knew it would show up in this snapshot. Uh, admin is the default username of a super user in a new Joomla install and hackers know that. So they're always pounding on a site, Joomla sites, trying to 
see if someone with the admin username has a known password or a weak password. So since they have that information, why not just change it? Change it to something better. And so that's just an example of some of the things that can be learned here in the snapshot. In fact, over here, you'll see it says investigate. Uh, there, that means there is a tool where this username can be switched. Let's click on it. And there you go. Yes, user with username admin found. If the, this account was uh, activated already, we could just click fix this for me and it would be fixed. You would pick a new name that could be the username. Now, let's go back to manage site and let's close off those green ones again. You'll see there's a whole list of things here. Sometimes there's a tool that you turn on and off and there's some things that you actually manually have to go and take care of on your site and it says no tool. This next tab here is where we can see information on the audit that has been done on your site. And then once again, we have some things that are green that are good. They're all fine. So let's hide those. And there's things now that we can go down and we can learn more about and we can investigate and we can you do right here from this interface. The one that's most popular is this one here, which is check suspect or malicious pattern match contents and files. You'll see it's the most popular tool. You can also get to it if there's a hacked file for sure on your site by this warning up here, suspect content tool. Uh, but let's click over here to investigate. And what we're going to see here is that there are two files that came up in the audit. One that is not hacked necessarily that should be looked into and one that is definitely hacked. Now I've already looked into this JavaScript file and it's fine. There's just a little bit of code in it that uh, is something that needs to be checked out and it was fine. It only sort of looked like something hacked, but it's okay. But this file here, this green.php, it says it's hacked and we can use this tool over here, the magnifying glass, to look at that file and lo and behold, yep, it's pretty hinky. This is a hacked file. And if this account were activated, what you would do is, uh, let's see, we'll close this. You would just go and delete that file. You also have the option to edit it, but we haven't activated this account just yet. All right, now let's go back to uh, manage site. Probably an easier way for me to click back here. Uh, but we looked at the audit tab. Now there's a tab here, backup. If you install a Keep a Backup on your site and have it running and set this up, you can see when the latest backup of your site was run. Here, the tab for update, it takes a look at your site and shows any extensions that need to be updated. Now I installed two old versions here, so some would show up. And in an activated account, you could simply click update and it would update that without you even having to log into the back end of your site. So that's another great thing. If you're managing multiple sites or doing a lot of work on one site, you can do it all from this mysites.guru interface. Now under the extensions tab, you can see a list of the different components, modules, plugins, and templates that are installed on your Joomla site. And with an activated account, you can actually set these to be automatically updated. So let's say there's one that you have great confidence in, like JCE Editor, you can set it up. And anytime there's a new update, updated version of JCE Editor, you can have mysites.guru update it for you without even logging in. Uh, alert, you can set up alerts. So for instance, you can receive an email when someone logs into the admin console or when a new user is created emails that will come to you and you can sort of track the activity happening on your site. Uh, and there's just so many other features in here for the alert. Near real-time file checks, whitelist IPs, SSL. You can get an alert when your uh, server certificate is close to expiring. This tab will show you the uh, recent actions on the user action logs in your Joomla install. Who's been doing what and when they did it. Here's a tab where you can set up an uptime robot monitor so that you can be alerted if your site goes down. You can keep some notes on your site here. This tab will let you go to the uh, and do a Lighthouse, Google Lighthouse audit of your homepage. And here are some settings that you can set up for accessing this site and information on the site, including you can log into the admin area of your site from mysites.guru, which is very handy, especially if you have multiple Joomla sites or more than one, and you're working a, 
across different sites, you can keep logging directly into the admin area without having to go to site.com forward slash administrator and then manually log in. It's one click to do that. So lots of great features here. Uh, and we haven't even looked down the left-hand column here. Uh, you can uh, view your sites here. This will list all of your sites as they occur. Of course, we only have one there. You can check important items. You can look at all of your sites for upgrades and updates for extensions, uh, which ones don't have a backup schedule, which one doesn't have an uptime monitor. You can group sites by tags. You can use this max, mass action tool. You, so if let's say you have four or five Joomla installs and you like to use uh, one extension on them and it's not updating in the automatic way that it should in Joomla, then you can actually download that extension and then upload it and update all of your sites through that mass uh, upgrade uh, mass upgrade feature uh, you can also update the joomla version of multiple sites as well there's a mass action tool for that scheduled actions this is you can schedule when your audits are done you can run backups from mysites.guru you can schedule reports. That's just a whole other crazy area what's available in reports. And you can schedule updates for things. There's other site information, your web server host, uptime robot status page, your Joomla extensions across all of your sites. It just goes on and on. And in here, you can manage your account, your email preferences, and here's information, the latest things, the IPs you might need to whitelist to give it access to your site their cha latest changelog, known issues, all sorts of stuff. And if you're really stuck, if you really need help getting your site fixed, then you can get help and support here. You can say thanks, use the contact form, and you can pay to get things fixed on your site. So let's go back up to uh, your sites here. We'll go to Joomla sites. Let's go to this one that we have already. Let's hide this. Let's go to the, here's that says super admin should not have a user name admin. We'll go investigate one more time and we'll say fix this. Now let's activate this account here. Continue to pricing. And here we'll fill this out. I am not in the EU and my country is in Canada, which is a non EU country, Canada. I'll leave the rest of these things blank because I don't need my address or anything on invoices and we'll continue to the prices. Now on this price page, let's put in the special code for the first month free, which is basic Joomla. We'll apply the code and we have the unlimited monthly discounted. You can cancel anytime, no minimum term. And so, and it's $19.99 pounds per month. Now let's just talk about the price. This is a great price, especially if you value your time. I have saved hours upon hours upon hours uh, using my sites.guru plus because I use it to manage my client's site. I'm able to offer that as a service to them. And if you're considering that, there's a great whitelist reporting feature in my sites.guru, which will generate emails and reports about all that you have done to maintain your client sites. And that is great for showing them that the they're getting great value by hiring you to manage your site. And MySites.Guru is giving you great value because you can do so much so quickly. Um, again, if your time is valuable, this is, this is well worth the expense. All right, read all those full terms and conditions. Down there if you want to read them. I'm going to click subscribe now. And I'm going to put in my credit card information here. Uh, I will pause the video so you don't see that. All right, I have entered everything in. Of course, it is blurred. And we'll click start trial. Next, we're taken to the login screen. We can now log in with our activated subscription. We log in and we can get started again. Of course, there's a reminder of terms and conditions. Okay, let's get started. And now we're back to right where we were, only everything we wanted to do, we can now do. Let's go into the site. Let's go to our snapshot. 
Let's click OK and let's fix this pesky admin problem. Investigate. Fix that. Go ahead and fix the issue. Yes, please. Now there's a new username and a new password. Now I'm going to make sure that I keep track of that so I can log in with it. I'm going to copy that and I'll copy that and then I will update things when I go back in. Now there's also that pesky infected file as well. We'll go back to manage site. We will go to suspect content tool and we're going to go here and we will delete that file right out of the site. It's deleted and it's gone and that Joomla site is clean. Now let's also go back to manage site and we will go to update. Let's update those two extensions. We will go update. In fact, let's do this. Let's go to check important items and we will go to upgrades and updates. This would check all sites. Of course, there's only one here. We'll just do this one site this way. There's so many features. You'll have, you'll have so much fun checking all of these things out and, and learning about your site and the things that you can do. Here we go. We will um, update that and update that. And those will finish updating. But at this point, I'm going to end this review because it's uh, I could go on and on and on about the things I like about mysites.guru. Uh, get a free audit. Get a free snapshot of your Joomla site. See what's happening on there. Check all this stuff out for yourself. And uh, take advantage of the free first month. Use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Uh, like I said, mysites.guru has saved me tons of time over the years, uh, managing my sites, managing my site, my client sites, and uh, I, you will not be disappointed. So check it out. And uh, if you haven't done so already, as I said before, may have said before, please subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell to get notifications and you'll get updates about new live streams, tutorials, and other things happening here on my channel. So until the next time, thanks for watching. Enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.